Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notification instantly. Hey, hi everyone. This is Mukesh Otwani from learn-automation.com. Today in this video, we will be talking about the protector tool. Okay, so uh, before we jump into the actual video, in this video, you will understand what exactly is protector, what is the need of it because we already have selenium and other automation tool we'll also talk about the normal application and the angular just application so what is the difference when you have to go with normal application like when you have to go with selenium or when you have to go with protector and while dealing with protector okay you will get this term very frequently called spa so we'll also talk about sp applications okay and uh, don't worry if you are not familiar with these because anyways we will be uh, covering all these but uh, it would be added advantage for you if you know selenium if you know the javascript then you don't have to struggle with the syntax okay uh, but if you know it's fine otherwise we'll continue with uh, the normal standard approach anyways i will cover javascript and uh, protector in detail okay that's all so let's get started so let's talk about what is protector now protector is an end-to-end -end test automation for angular js application so it's an already inbuilt framework for mainly AngularJS application. So before we jump into why we need, let's talk about few more details about Protector. Okay, so web, uh, Protector is built on top of uh, WebDriverJS protocol, which internally use the native events. Okay, and browser a specific driver to interact with your JavaScript or normal application. So every browser which you use for your test automation has its own JavaScript engine. So since Protector works on top of the JS protocol, so it can handle the JS applications uh, quite easily. Okay, it has some more locators and automated synchronizations and so on. So that we'll discuss. But uh, Protector is mainly whenever you have Angular JS based applications. Now, why it is uh, like nowadays why people are starting using protector for angular just application because it has some additional local uh, locator strategies so if you have worked on selenium or any other automation tools they have a standard locators like id name xpath css but this protector already have some additional locators like ng model uh, ng binding and few more additional locators that we will use once say uh, you start automating certain scenarios so these locators will definitely help you to test your angular just Space, uh, application or angular just controls now the most important point i will say the most selling point of protector which is making it much popular is that you don't have to wait for the wait or i will say you don't have to add the wait statements or you don't have to use thread or sleep because it might slow down your application right or the script which you have written protector main point is it doesn't have wait statements it does automated wait or i will say the automated synchronization internally how it works it works on the promises like what exactly is promises uh, that again we will discuss so it works on the pros, uh, promises so whenever until one promise is not getting executed it will not execute the next promise so no wait statement that is the most important point here okay so now another question should come why we have one more tool when we have selenium so yes you can use selenium again for angular just application but yes you have to take care of uh, like uh, this uh, synchronization part okay so if you have worked on any angular just application you might have seen they are very dynamic in nature right so you need to take care of the sync issues and you have to write some smart locators as well and protect is nothing but a node.js program which which is already written in javascript okay and um, it used node.js to identify the web elements and one more important point which we haven't discussed yet like using angular sorry using protector you can also test non.js application as well it's not that it's only meant for angular js if you have non angular js application as well you can go ahead and use but you will feel more advantages when you start working with angular js application with protector Otherwise, Selenium is the best if you are non angular applications, right? Same point, can't view Selenium, yes, yes, you can do, but again, you need to take care of the sync issues and smart locators. Okay, you need to write the XPath in a very smart way so that you can handle the angular gist controls. Now, 
till now we discussed it is mainly for angular js application it is mainly for non angular js application what exactly is angular js application it's a uh, now if you have worked on uh, like in college times also you have you might have used html right so we have not used any uh, i will say framework to create application but if you go in today's world we have different kind of frameworks which we use to create a front end application bootstrap is one of them angular js is one of them so angular js is nothing but a front end web application framework to create spa web applications okay and important thing it is developed by google and maintained by google so if you want to know more about angular js applications you can go ahead and search for angular js they have a very big course very big uh, i will say the tutorials and the table of content just go through it you will if you want to become a developer you want to create your own angular js applications they have very good tutorials if you want to create your own applications since we are a tester we don't want to create applications we just want to know what exactly is angular js okay so maintained by google developed by google and it is fast uh, i will say in terms of performance it is faster because when you work with angular js applications you don't uh, like it does not involve much coding so i mean it uh, comes to the resource utilization angular js use very less resources so it's little faster as compared to non angular js application now we have discussed one term called spa right it is mainly used for sp web application now what exactly is sp it's a single page applications okay um, these are nothing but a normal web application but the main difference is it will load only once and based on the user activity it will keep on updating the page it will not upload or i will say refresh the page refresh the application automatically it will interact with your uh, like say you have a page loaded once your page loaded you will get a form ready then you can do activity as soon as you do some activity it will keep on updating on the back end it will not refresh your application i have very beautiful example for this so you can take this is one google okay that we use day to day life and this is one angular js application now if you notice here just focus on this area okay when i click on uh, images you can see it get refreshed when i clicked on uh, let's say youtube it got loaded you can see every time it is loading it is um, fetching the complete details from the server when i click on google drive again it is loading and if you see here it, these are normal and uh, non angular js application okay when it comes to angular js application just focus here when i click on uh, courses you can see these options are coming without refreshing your page okay let's say all lessons and you can see can you see it's not reloading your page it's loading here itself so page loaded once but you can see whatever activities are doing it is happening within your session okay so that makes angular js application pretty faster when you right click and inspect how you right identify whether they are uh, angular js applications or not you can find some more locators which will not find in other uh applications okay let me show you a couple of them let's say contact you will see this ng ng is nothing but angular okay angular js so ng touched ng persisting ng invalid and if you see here we have this contact button this is actually in this we don't have but you will see ng button ng uh, bindings ng repeaters these are some smart locators or i will say Uh, you will find in protector but they have the same thing when you develop the angular js application you will find the same uh, controls so this is the difference once you start using it and if you put some attention then without checking the locator resistance you will understand whether it's angular js application or not right you can see here it's, it's not taking it's not loading my page at all it's loading within the page so protector okay the final points protector is mainly for angular js applications it does not involve any wait statement and uh, it can also be like by default protector use jasmine that we will discuss now so it use jasmine as a bdd framework okay so your script looks uh, more readable format with protector and um, you have some smart locators okay again one more thing you can also use selenium and other tools as well for angular js application but yes you need to 
take care of the sink issues and locate us as well okay that's all i have for this protector now let's talk about the jasmine in the next video or maybe in the next part and guys if you like my videos then uh, you can subscribe to my channel this is my channel where i have uploaded uh, uploaded on the different tools and i keep uploading um, videos on different automation tools and technologies which will be coming in future so if you would like to receive videos directly to your mailbox you can click on the subscribe button and uh, you can also sus click on this bell icon so that you will get the notification okay thank you so much guys have a nice day